guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I'm going to film the Goodreads tag. I was tagged by Elsay Books. I will have her channel linked down there in the description. Don't know who created this, but who who knows at this point when tags get so big and go around so much, just, I don't know. So I'm gonna get started. Question one, what was the last book you marked as read? Let's find out. Oh, that was The Brown Swordsman by Paulina Simons. I loved it so much and I have a book talk that I'll link up here by the teapot. Question two, what are you currently reading? That would be this guy right here, Tatiana and Alexander. Good. Also by Polina Simmons. Simons. Simmons. Simons. <laughs> what was the last book you marked on your TBR? Let's find out. I feel like it's that let's find out one, two, three. <laughs> Last book I marked as to be read is Ketchup Clouds by Annabelle Pitcher. It sounded really freaking good. Very out of what I normally read, but I'll just start reading the synopsis because I'm feeling reedy. 15 year old Zoe has a secret, a dark and terrible secret that she can't confess to anyone she knows. But then one day she hears of a criminal, Stuart Harris, locked up on death row in Texas. Like Zoe, Stuart is no stranger to secrets or lies or murder. Full of heartbreak yet humor, Zoe tells her story to the only person she can, in letters to the man in prison in America. Armed with a pen, Zoe takes a deep breath, eats a jam sandwich, and begins her tale of love and betrayal. The sounds are really good. I don't know why. I, I'm, it sounds a little bit, what's it called? Never ending story esque, like eating the sandwich, telling the story. I don't, I don't know what I like about this so much, but it sounds really good. Question four, what book do you plan to read next? Um, other than my currently reading, this is all like the Bronze Horseman centered, you guys. I'm sorry, because the next book I plan to read after Tatiana and Alexander is The Summer Garden, which is the third book. But other than that, um, Corey really wants me to reread Looking for Alaska, and then I could get a new book talk up on that, because my first one was horrible. Do you use the star rating system? Yes, I do. I'm, this is just going to repeat what everyone said. I wish they had like 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 little system there. Because I recently actually went through and I re-rated books because I felt like I was too generous with them. Like, I liked it because when you when you rate things three stars, people ask, oh, you didn't like it? I'm like, no, three stars means I liked it, like, eh. And then I think it, two stars means it was okay, and then one star means I hated it. But like, three stars was like, eh, I liked it. Um, I didn't really like it and I didn't love it, so three stars. It's just a really dumb system, honestly. Are you doing a 2014 reading challenge? I am, but I'm not necessarily sticking to it necessarily. I got very, very close last year. I think I got uh, 72 books or something. My goal was like 75 and my goal I think is 70 or 75 this year. I'm not really like, I have to get to it. That's why I'm reading. Uh, if I want to read a book slowly to enjoy it more and savor it, then I'm going to. It doesn't really matter too much to me. Do you have a wish list? Um, hell yeah, on my Amazon. Not really good reads, but both kind of transfer because I heard that they transfer things I don't know what book do you plan to buy next um I know there's some coming out um oh I plan to buy ugly love by Colleen Hoover do you have any favorite quotes you would like to share um I have an entire I have multiple videos where they're like my May poetry favorites or my November poetry favorites I don't know when I started doing this but I have entire videos dedicated to quotes and poems that I find throughout the month because I have the hardest time just picking down to like, oh, those are my two favorite quotes. It's so difficult. And then when I say, oh, that's my favorite quote, I find something else that I'm like, but is that still my favorite quote? It's so difficult. So my current favorite quotes I will find. This is from, again, this is all centered around Pauline Simons. I'm very sorry if you haven't read the books, you should read them. But um, one of my favorites at the moment, this isn't my all time favorite, but I will tell you that in a second. This is a lot of searching I have to do. But one that I really, really like that I actually forgot to mention in my Bronze Horseman video, which makes me sad. Anyway, it's some words were like that, whole lives attached to them, ghosts and lives and ecstasy and sorrow. Okay, now for the serious stuff, but I have, I have two right now that are kind of my favorites. My longtime standing favorite is I Go to Seek a Great Perhaps, and that is from the poet Francois Rabialis. I know I'm butchering the man's name. I don't do French. I don't even do Spanish, and I took two years of that. But it means so much to me. It's like to seek, to look for greater things and always be seeking that, even though there's no guarantee that things will be great. It's the search. It's the seeking of it. And then the other quote that I really just love so much, my heart is a thousand years old. I am not like other people by Charles Bukowski. I've always been told I have an old soul and I feel like that very much speaks to the kind of 
things that I've never been able to explain or articulate and that just did it so well in one sentence. Question 10, who are your favorite authors? Um, <laughs> this is gonna be a long one. Taryn Fisher, Colleen Hoover, Colleen Simons, Megan Hart, RK Lilly, Renee Carlino, John Green, of course, I mean, duh. And I'm sure that I'm forgetting some, so I'm just gonna list them right here when I'm editing this and I realize, wow, why didn't you think of that, Anna? So, check the list. <laughs> Have you joined any groups? Yes, I am in the group Good Girls Who Read Bad Things. It's a couple of my booktube friends and just other people who I've become friends with. And it's kind of like book club style where we read along with certain books or we have categories of books that some of us may have read that we talk about on the sport. It's really fun. So you should, um, I think I can link that. Yeah, I'll link that in the description. Are there any questions I would like to add? Um, yes, there are. What is your most read genre? So mine would be contemporary romance, I believe. I think that would just be the safe bet because a lot of them could fall between. So yes, that's the question that I want to add. And I'm going to tag some of my booktube friends that didn't have names that are not going to have names. I tagged booktube, book talk with Jess, whoopsies. Brianna's book babble and, and college book girl. That's why I tagged those three people. So you should go and check their channels out. I will also have those linked down there in the description. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be my last video that I have at my apartment. Say goodbye. I have a vlog channel in case you didn't know where I'm vlogging the whole moving out process. That'll probably be up right around the time that this video is up, so bye Hannah's apartment. <laughs> and I have an explanation for why I'm moving in the video over there, so I don't have to ramble right here. So I will see you guys later at my old filming location. Bye.